All right, welcome back to uh, this is example three, one of day 23, uh, from 365. Uh, in this problem, it's it's the same example as example one. Uh, the difference here is we're going to use the linear differential operator uh, to resolve this system, okay? Uh, so we need to do a little bit of work here on the, the two equations. So note that I can write uh, x dot minus uh, for x plus by equals zero, just moving everything over. And likewise, I can write uh, the second equation as 6x minus y dot minus 7y equals zero. Okay, that's important uh, for us to be able to write this system. Uh, so in the notation, differential notation operator uh, here, Mm -hmm. Think of it as factoring out an x uh, of this term. There's an operator here, uh, that d, that's going to operate on this x as I distribute it through. So this becomes a d minus 4 that I'm going to then multiply um, component-wise in the matrix by x, and that's going to add on it. Um, and then I have a plus 3 here, a 3 there, and then I have a six, make it in here. And then again, factoring out a, a negative seven or negative y, if you will. That's going to give me a negative d plus seven for uh, that component. And then it's going to be multiplied by x and y. And then that's going to be uh, for the homogeneous system equal to zero and zero. Okay. So just to be careful here to make sure you understand if it's not clear. Um, if I factor out the x, remember the differential operator says that um, if I factor out that x, I have d minus 4. And so I'm multiplying x times 4, that gives me the 4x, and x times the differential operator gives me the x dot, which is where this comes from. And then this form here, uh, you're multiplying uh, uh, matrix by this vector, get d minus x times x, which gives us exactly this, plus three times y, which gives us exactly this equation, but written out in matrix form, it comes this way. Okay. Um, I should note for a homogeneous linear system to not have only the trivial solution, the operational determinant must be zero. In other words, uh, the determinant of this thing must be identically equal to zero for the homogeneous case. Otherwise, we would only get the trivial solution. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, force this determinant to be zero. So if we do that, um, we're going to get, taking the determinant, uh, the determinant is going to equal d minus 4 times negative 1 times uh, d plus 7 minus 6 times 3 is going to equal zero. We're asking, we're requiring it to be equal to zero. So if I distribute everything through and simplify it. I get d squared plus 3d minus 10 equals 0. And this should look really familiar uh, from the example uh, 1 uh, that we did earlier. The form of the equation uh, in terms of what the what was here was different, um, but the resulting uh, form is exactly the same. So you get d minus 2 here and d plus 5 equals zero. And this should then look really, really similar uh, or familiar to our example that we did in example one. Okay. Uh, and so we get D is equal to two or negative five. Okay. Which means our system of equations, X of T is going to equal uh, C1 E to the two T plus C2 e to the negative 5t, and y of t is going to equal uh, d1, oh, I guess d1, e to the 2t plus t2 e to the negative 5t. Okay, um, but we should only have uh, two unknowns since our um, we have two linear systems or one unknown for each differential equation or the fact that we saw in, in example one. So this becomes a second order differential equation, in which case we get still two constants of integration or two constants um, for the system. So in order to 
reduce the number of constants just like we did in a similar fashion, but for a different reason. Um, well, kind of a different reason uh, in the example one. Let's take one of these and substitute it into uh, the other example, okay? Uh, So we're going to substitute one of these into original equation. And I'll just take x, since that's the first one that comes up. So you get x dot t is equal to 2 c1 e to the 2t minus 5 c2 e to the negative 5 t. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw originally that x dot minus 4 x plus 3 y equals 0. Um, you can plug in x dot in here, and then we can plug in x in there, and last but not least, of course, y in there. So that gets a little algebraically messy, um, but what we find is that uh, d1 is going to equal 2 thirds c1, and d2 is equal to 3 c2. Uh, so we can plug those back into our system here, and we get that x of t is equal to uh, c1 e to the 2t plus c2 e to the negative 5t, and then y of t is equal to 2 thirds c1 e to the 2t plus 3 c2 e to the minus 5t. And then uh, if we use the initial conditions uh, as we did before. So x of zero is equal to two, y of zero is equal to negative one. Lo and behold, it should be no surprise that we get exactly uh, our system as before, x of t is equal to uh, three e to the two t minus five e to the negative five t minus five, sorry, uh, minus I was looking at the minus five on the exponent there, sorry, minus five, <clears throat> minus, I keep saying that, minus e to the negative five t. And likewise, y of t is going to get equal to e to the two t minus three e to the negative five t. Okay. So we end up with the same results as in example one um, in a different route to getting there. But you should notice that these, uh, the difference operator parallels very much the same solution sort of orientation. In fact, the forms and uh, the steps mirror each other in a lot of ways. I don't think I'm not see you.